today I'm out in my neighborhood pretty much doing a little mini hike you gotta love nature no matter where you're at so today I want to do a video that I was tied in a few weeks ago by Barbara and Craig with Texas Hikeaholics um, if you haven't checked out their channel be sure you do that they're just super awesome people I have never actually met them in person but I've watched a lot of their videos and um, corresponded with Barbara and stuff and just you could just tell like you know you watch her videos here that you can just tell they're really good people and they've been so incredibly generous and supportive of my Appalachian Trail through hike and um, yeah just, they're just really awesome people so definitely go check their channel out I'll put a link in the description of this video so anyway, I want to do a video today that they tagged me in and was about how I got into backpacking. And so I thought I would just talk about that a little bit real quick. And then I've been doing a little bit of hiking lately and then just some other things. So I do like some short video clips from those adventures. And I thought I would just kind of include that in this video. So it'll be kind of like a montage of the different things that I've been doing over the past couple months. And well, really honestly, over the past few weeks. Uh, for the first month, I really didn't do much of anything. This will be my last video that you'll see out before I'm back on the Appalachian Trail. So my next video, I will be on the AT. So it'll be a little bit, probably before you see another video. Um, man, there's a lot of obstacles. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you're out in your neighborhood woods <laughs> there is a nice little creek here though anyway so let's just talk about how i got into backpacking and actually just not just me but my husband jerry who if you watch my videos you know you'll see him in a lot of my videos uh he can't be out here because he's at work and i'm not working because i quit my job to do a through hike and obviously right now i'm not through hiking but i will be soon when i was in sixth grade i did a a week-long camping um, I don't know what to call it like a camp retreat uh, for school like it was related to school it was in the su summer camp okay I got it now I know what it's called <laughs> I did a summer camp in sixth grade and um, it was actually at Tremont which is in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and I did that when I was in sixth grade so I mean, I've done some hiking through the years you know but nothing I mean, not like regularly. Anyway, so in 2014, I had some friends and I'm going to hike. And I guess that's what kind of got me back into hiking again. And I just loved it. I loved being out there. And it just sort of became, um, my friends and I started doing hikes regularly. I was hiking, you know, with different friends. And of course, then I met Jerry. Just, just to give you a little background on his hiking. He uh actually was a camp counselor for years um and so he had already done like a lot of hiking and camping and just a lot of stuff like that when he was younger but he had kind of gotten out of it as well so then when we met we started dating and i was like hey would you want to go on a hike and he was like yeah so then we started kind of hiking and basically i guess it was in the fall of 2015 was our first backpacking trip we did, it was my friends, Chad and Amy, and we actually backpacked in, um, oh, I don't remember the name of the park now. <laughs> my mind's blank. Um, but it was to Virgin Falls, and it's in Tennessee. I don't really, maybe, I think it's actually called Virgin Falls Natural State Area, I think is what it's called. And it was just basically, I think, like a total of like eight and a half miles, nine miles total of like out back and it was overnight anyway we that was our first backpacking trip we did that with them we had bought our gear at walmart we basically bought a tent at walmart um we did buy our packs at rei we had the osprey pack yeah but like all the gear i think the sleeping bags i ordered online which actually i think came from walmart i think or at least from amazon but just basically really cheap gear so we could go out there and backpack we both just immediately fell in love with it and i think we went out like maybe the next weekend or the weekend after that with a couple other friends and we went to the smokies and we did a three day two night trip at that point 
and like I said, that's just kind of how it became, how we started backpacking. I mean, it really was just our, some friends invited us, and <laughs> uh, it's funny because you're, you know, it's not going to be met. This is an unmaintained trail. I think I came to the end of it though. Yep, it looks like it. <sighs> this is the woods. This is so funny because this is the kind of thing I did when I was young. So I might have been actually hiking, but I played in the woods all the time. So this is kind of like that, <laughs> kind of like playing in the woods. But anyway, <clears throat> so that's the story pretty much of how we got into backpacking. And so now I'm just going to show you all some clips from some things I've been doing over the past few weeks. Yeah, can't think of anything else. So I'll just go ahead and get into the other video clips and... I guess I will see you guys on the AT in a few weeks. So until then, thanks for being here and see you soon. Well, Jerry and I are out today doing a little hiking. This is our first hike out since the whole COVID situation. First time getting out, like out, out, other than the few times we went to the grocery store. And I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to get out and we just ended up going to one of the local, um, I don't know if it's really a state park actually, maybe. State park, it's not a city park, but it's like a, I'm not 100% sure it's a state park. But anyway, it's Haw Ridge, it's in Haw Ridge Park, which is in Oak Ridge. Uh, they're opening the Smokies up on the 9th, but um, this park was already open. There was a lot of people at the parking lot I'm gonna get a lot of cars but there's a greenway here and i think most people take the greenway like they bike it and things like that so we said well we'll go ahead and go out because there was a parking spot we're gonna go ahead and go out and hike on the trail and see how many people there are with whether we decide we're gonna keep hiking so we're out right now and there's just a bunch of different like trails you can take throughout this park and so far we only uh, ran into one uh a couple but they were leaving as soon as like as soon as we got on the trail so we haven't seen anybody since but this basically hikes along the lake melton lake melton hill lake i'm not really sure what it's called god it's so good to be back out in the wilderness just to be out in the woods i miss it so much There's definitely a few people out here, car-wise, but there, we hardly saw all that many people on the trail at all. Out for another hike today with my friend Angela. We're in uh, Oak Ridge hiking the East Quarry Trail, doing a little short day hike today. And I think we're going to go get pedicures afterwards. <laughs> yes. Uh, trying to occupy time a little bit here before I get back on the AT so this is a this is a really nice trail really cool like pond area it's pond is what you call it uh, it's a beautiful day beautiful blue skies ah, 
Love the outdoors. That's right. <laughs> Man, this pond is so pretty here. It's a quarry area, so we're gonna stop and have us a little bit of lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take us a lunch break. Oh, that looks good. Uh -huh. we'll so yeah. <laughs> now this is a lunch view right here. Man. Look, there's Angela's new camera. Isn't that cool? Super cool. It's like a pol it's a Polaroid, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Polaroid. Yep. Took a picture, it's still developing, but Pictures me. Oh yeah. We're just sitting here thinking how cool that float is. Angela, say hi. <laughs> getting a pedicure. Suckles. Smell good. Jerry and I are out for a little walk in our neighborhood today. Jerry and I are here at the Clayton's Disc Golf Course. It's the course that we're gonna play today. Hello. <laughs> so Jerry bought me some disc so I, I can had to break play. Her in. I was just saying I got pink, <laughs> purple, and blue. Um, so he's gonna show me how to play some disc golf. I've never played I'm before. She loves it. Clayton's is supposed to, to be Clayton's is supposed to be one of the nicer the nicest uh, go, disc golf courses in Knoxville. So anyway, this should be fun. Okay, we're aiming for that green right down there. Okay, hold on. So we're aiming for I don't know, it's way down there. <laughs> okay. Get yeah. a girl.
Oh, that's good. I already got my disc in the weeds. <laughs> like, right in there. <laughs> Jerry got it. Yay. <laughs> Good job. Now we get to go into the wooded part. Oh, there's like little benches to sit at. That's cool. Oh, that was just practice in the hole. Okay. <laughs> so this is the first actual real hole. Cool. All right, Jerry. Take your first shot. But this is cool, see, you got like, like wooded areas. So it's like being out in the woods. It's being out in the woods. Well, it is, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, the mountains or whatever. Don't worry about the raccoon. All right, here he goes for the snap. Oh, score. Get it. Yes. Wow, this course is really pretty. This is nice. And there's like benches on all the spots. And we're going that way. This hole has a bridge. This has been me all day. <laughs> we didn't do it today, but we should have brought like a picnic lunch and did like a little picnic lunch out here, but we didn't, I didn't quite prepare for that. He brought us some like drinks and a couple of snacks, but I think a picnic lunch would have been cool to do out here with the, with all the trees and everything. We even get steps, so we have to climb. So we're definitely gonna work out in with this. I think I did pretty good because all these steps here and there's my pink one. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> Hold on. There's these like little cabins here. It's pretty cute. Jerry and I are stopping here at hole nine and we're gonna have us a little bit of body armor and a cliff bar. Yes. No cliff bark and cliff bars. <sighs> so this is our view right now. Not too shabby, huh? No, pretty nice. Nice day. Now we're on the open side. <laughs> that's what, uh, that's not as, as shaded, but it's real pretty. Has a very golf course feel. That's the golf world. Yep, it's a real nice course. Well, this is the views. This is so pretty. Okay, so I have to admit, this is pretty fun. Told her. And we're out here. It's just nice because we're out here walking around. It's like being in nature. It's but beautiful. I'm not. I'm not very good at this game, but it's okay. It's also fun. <laughs> All right, our last hole, 18, or whatever you call this. I don't guess they're called holes, but whatever they're called. Anyway, this is the hardest one. So you throw it from here and look, you have to get all the way across that water. Oh man, yeah. But you can do a shortcut and go down and do it from there. So that's what we're gonna do. Woot woot, 18. What do you call these things? They're not holes, right? What are they called? Dolls. Goals, 18 goals, 18 <laughs> goals, not 80 goals. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Anyway, uh, it was her first time. Yeah, that was fun. And it's about time she and finally it, realized my <laughs> secret passion. <laughs> yeah, this is what Jerry loves doing, disc golf. All right, time to eat. Woo! Mm. Oh, man, this is 
This is awesome. And we don't have to clean up our mess for once. <laughs> Especially Jerry, he's very the messy. Ever, <laughs> oh, there's a knock on the door. What could it be? <gasps> a package. So I received the baby Yoda that I ordered back in like December or, or yeah, like November, December. And it was gonna take months to get here in May. So it is finally here. Let's open it. Oh, snap. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> uh, it's so cute. He's so cute. He's so cute. This shows all the, his tan sounds. Oh yeah. And here he is. Oh yeah, look, he's got his little frog he can eat and his bowl of soup. And like you can see, he's got his little hands. Like he's, whoops. <laughs> he doesn't want to sit up very well. It's just like, no, for a minute. And, th and this little hand will actually hold the frog. And, so, and then look, he's got his little feet. He's just a cushy body. But this is the fun part here. Look. His ten sounds, and he sounds just like um, it did in the movie. So I think it's the same sound bites, or not movie, sorry, TV show. But you know what I meant. Oh, he's so cute. And I'm trying to put it into perspective how tall he is. Let me. He does. He will sit up, but it's not. He's not. It's not that easy to set him up. But basically, that's how tall he is. <laughs> He's so cute.